The Y2K style is super in right now. If you follow Kido on TikTok, you've probably seen me designing some Y2K stuff already. So today I'm gonna show you how I designed a Y2K inspired brand from scratch in Kiddo. Of course, I could use one of the hundred amazing Y2K templates in Kiddo and just personalizing to my own taste. So if you haven't signed up for Kiddo yet, the link is in the description. Let's start designing. So I'm gonna start the same way I start all of my logo design projects, which is by choosing typography. Unless I'm doing my own lettering, then it's a different thing. But I usually just choose a bunch of typography that I think it resonates with the brand. For example, here I'm using Y2K fonts. Um, Kiddo has a lot of Y2K font options, by the way. And I just simply put a bunch of them side by side and I'll just narrow down to the ones I like the most, which is what I'm doing right now. So I end up usually with mm, two or three fonts and they start battling in my mind. So here I'm in between those two fonts. And honestly, I just think I'm going to apply some Y2K effects and just to see how they're going to look like the way I want them to look. Um, don't settle for your first logo option. Try as many things as you can, you know, change colors, change fonts, change elements, try different formats. I don't know. But please, 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 this is so important. Do not stop at the first option. I know it sucks when you have a bunch of different versions and you honestly think the first version is the best. But trust me, it's part of the process. Um, sometimes, most of the time actually, you come up with pretty good ideas just by trying out a bunch of different things. You don't need to go crazy, follow your briefing, but try different versions. Um, anyways, I'm in between generic techno and breaking mono. Honestly, I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not convinced by generic techno and I really like how geometric Brinky Mono looks and how the font is just, everything seems to fit, you know? And honestly, it's more, it's just more the brand swipe. I forgot to tell you what the brand is about, by the way, so you guys have no idea what we're doing here. I'm sorry, but it's an eccentric fashion business. So an edgy and cool clothing store, basically. But not really, you know, it's more than a clothing store, it's fashion. So, yep, I'm going with Brinky Mono. Cool, edgy, fashion, brutalist, futuristic. Nice, I like it. So before I apply any color, I'm going to finish the logo with Y2K elements real quick. Another tip to logo design is to finish the logo in black. Um, I've said this before, I think, in the 10 logos, 10 minutes uh, challenge. If you haven't seen that, go watch the video. It was a little overwhelming experience. <laughs> but yeah, back to the logo design. Notice how I also tried a bunch of different options, but without deviating from the Y2K style. Because I know that's the brand style. See? That's the importance of a good briefing and creative direction also. Um, of course, this is just a quick logo tutorial, so I didn't have neither for this. I directed creatively in my mind, <laughs> but if you don't know the brand's voice, tone, message, you're just gonna fluctuate between styles and you're gonna be all over the place and it's gonna be really hard to get to a final design. So I'd advise you, even if you're starting your own small business and you want to create a brand, take some time to sit down and answer some questions about your business. Get to know your brand, you know? Uh, even just your brand's goals and tone and voice, because believe me, that will help you not only on your logo design, but also in the future to keep up with the brand's identity. Um, something you could do is mood boards as well. Save your references and inspirations. Don't copy design style. Please don't, that's not nice, but you know, get inspired. Um, all right. I cannot finish this video without building a brand board. The initial idea was just to make a Y2K logo tutorial, but I can't, I just, I can't, okay? I have to bake the brand board. Um, so let's add some logo options. The primary logo in different colors, secondary logo in different colors as well. Um, some imagery, add mockups to your brand board, please. Mockups are everything. Mockups are light and air. I love mockups and mockups love brands. Um, I did this t-shirt mockup with the motto. It's cute, but as cute as it looks, I think it's too normal. It doesn't match the brand spirit. <laughs> so I need to 
add an image of someone wearing cool clothes. Yep, that's perfect. I even love the, the little weird pose. And lastly, just adding some text that could resonate with the brand. And we're done. What do you guys think? So that was it, guys. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video. I always have so much fun reading the comment section, by the way. If you don't know, I'm usually around Kittle's social media platforms. So go ahead and follow us on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram. The link will be in the description. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Kittle's YouTube channel if you haven't yet. See you next time. Bye.